Good morning, Fehmina Khan is here in TK Maths S1. In today's video, I will explain to you a concept of vectors, which is lines do not intersect and find the angle between them. So to explain this concept, I have picked up a question from CIE November 17, variant 33 question 10. This topic is a part of the syllabus of A-level mathematics, code is 9709. Before I begin, you can see on the top my website address and my blog address. Website address has uh, a lot of things for learning. I have put up checklist for exam preparation. Online classes are offered there. And it is still under development. Your comments can help me to develop it more meaningfully. And on the blog side, you can find all my videos I have made so far. So let's begin with the question. So two equations of the lines are given to you names are L and M, you have to show that these lines do not intersect, right? So first of all, to explain this concept, I am changing these equations of line into this form. Now this shows a point on the line and this shows the direction of the line, right? I have picked up from here 3, minus 1, 2, minus 2, sorry, minus 1, 1, 4. Similarly from here, so this is representing any general point, okay, depending on the value of mu and lambda. So now I'm changing this into vector uh, in this form. And if you see here, this represent point X, this represent point Y, point Z. Agreed? Similarly here also, 4 plus 2 mu, 4 plus mu. So now we know that if lines are intersecting, if, then the, this should be equals to this, this should be equals to this, this should be equals to this. Because where they intersect, your point x, y, z are same. So this is what we will try to see, either they are equal or not, because the value of lambda and mu we will find out by solving them simultaneously should satisfy all three equations. If it satisfy, lines are intersecting, if it doesn't satisfy, lines are not intersecting. Because question is saying, show lines do not intersect. So your answer should not satisfy all three equations, right? Okay, so let's begin. You can pick up any two equation of your choice. For example, I can say this equals to this and this equals to this, right? So pick up any two pair to solve them simultaneously. So I have picked up first x coordinate of both lines. Okay, and then y coordinate of both lines. I will solve them simultaneously. I will find the value of mu and lambda, and then I will plug in in the third point z, uh, third coordinate z. If the answer will be same in z, then lines are meeting. Otherwise, no. So simply, I am simplifying it first of all, lambda, and getting the value of lambda from here and plugging in here. So you can see here. Lambda is equal to 5 minus plus mu. This value of lambda I have plugged in here. And then I will get the value of mu. Mu is equal to minus 2. Now this value of mu I'm plugging in back here to get my lambda. So I found the value of lambda and mu. Now I will pick up the third coordinate z which I did not use in my solving equations. I will plug lambda 3 here and mu minus 2 here, so I will see the answers I get, right? Okay. So now this is minus 2 plus 4 lambda and minus 3 minus 2 mu. I'm substituting the values and checking the answers. Answer should not be same because lines should not show that they are intersecting. Okay, so I got different answer. So it means it doesn't satisfy all three coordinates uh equations so i can say hence lines are not intersecting lines do not intersect right so this is how you show intersect or do not intersect next part of the question is saying find the acute angle between the direction of the line now remember acute angle <clears throat> so the lines are here when we are finding out the angle we apply dot product or scalar product between the directions. Now these are the directions of the line. Minus 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, minus 2. So I will apply dot product on this. 
right? A dot B equals to magnitude of A, magnitude of B cos theta. So now I will substitute this in place of here and this in place of here, right? And then I will simplify it. Magnitude of A mean its size and you know how do we do it? This is square plus this is square plus this is square. Similarly, for magnitude of B, because I'm taking it as B, 2 square plus 1 square plus minus 2 square. So I got this. And you know how to solve it. This into this plus this into this plus this into this. So I've done this for you here. And after that, simple calculation, and we will get cos theta. Now I will find out theta when I simplified it because it is not mentioned in the question give your answer in degree on radian so choice is yours right. I have mentioned here in uh, radian you can mention in degree also if it is not specified. So this is not acute angle yes question was saying find acute angle so now I will subtract it from pi to get the answer. So this is how you will find the angle between two vectors equation of the line. It is actually between the directions of the lines. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, learned it, something from it, then please do press like and subscribe button. Let's press bell icon and share it with your friends. Take care. Allah Hafiz.